Alert tonight out of St. Charles County. We have new surveillance video just into our newsroom capturing a slow police chase that turned deadly. Tonight we're looking, learning more about the suspect behind the wheel of that red car. And that is just one of two different deadly officer involved shootings in St. Charles County in the span of just a few hours. Well, the first one sparked by a shooting at the clock tower in O'Fallon at around 4.15 p.m., the second closer to 9 p.m. in Lake St. Louis yesterday. First Alert Force Caroline Hecker is tracking the latest developments in both of these cases for us tonight. Caroline. Well, good evening. These two shootings are certainly keeping the St. Charles County Emergency Response Team very busy, both under similar circumstances, very eerie, and of course, both, like you said, turning deadly as police get involved. A quiet private street turned into a sea of flashing lights Sunday afternoon as police officers tracked down a suspect accused of shooting rounds at a clock outside O'Fallon City Hall. I was actually sleeping on my couch and my phone started exploding. People are asking if I'm OK and I was asking, like, what are you talking about? Like, oh, you know, there was a, a shooting in your neighborhood. And I'm like, OK, where's it at? So it's off Spring Court. And I'm like, well, yeah, that's the street in front of my house. This home surveillance video shows a red car, the one police say 34-year-old Douglas Phipps was driving, leading police on a slow pursuit into the Royal Oaks subdivision. When he reached the dead end of a private drive behind the subdivision, police say he got out of his car and pointed a shotgun at officers who shot him. Very unusual. Like, we don't have crime down here at all. So it's very unusual that this happened, ended up down here. A few hours later in Lake St. Louis, officers went to a home on Fox Bridge Court, wanted in connection with a man accused of firing shots at Boulevard Park earlier in the day. Police say he answered the door with a gun in each hand and after a struggle with officers, fired two shots before he was shot and killed. Court records show numerous arrests and guilty pleas for FIPS over the last several years, all resulting in probation. Dash camera and body camera video are expected to be released in the near future. Now, we are still waiting to learn the identity of the suspect in that Lake St. Louis case. I want to make that clear. But going back to the O'Fallon case, that suspect, Douglas Phipps, I did dig into some records today. And last June, police were called after a family member reported that he was having some sort of psychotic episode. When police arrived, they documented that he said he saw people pointing guns at him. He was shaking in his bed. And he told officers that he was suicidal and that he had a weapon. So both of these investigations still ongoing. Going, but a lot of different factors unfolding as we learn more information. We're live in O'Fallon tonight. Caroline Hecker, First Alert 4.